back to the maize plus pig farmer. The price for pork is now really good. It's actually better than I expected. Um, just going to have a quick look at the end of it. So we're up at 25, 8. Um, so more than it should have been for February. And we're still in January. So um, I'm going to push it a bit further. But before we do that, I'm going to give the pigs some more feed because... They're not really low, but I want to just keep it topped up, basically. Um, so, but before we do that, I'm going to take some sugar beets over to the pellet production. Um, to keep that moving, because at some point we will need to probably be using more than it produces. So while we're not using that much, I'm just going to, have to let it build up. Um, I haven't checked, but I think I should be able to store the pellets in the silo, so that should work okay. Um, yeah, the plan is to progress. I've already progressed through December and half of January. We're going to go through February as well, get the pork sold, see how we are doing for cash, and basically get ourselves ready for spring planting. Um, I had said I was probably going to plant more wheat, but we can't have had a look at the planting calendar, so we're going to go heavier on the corn, because that fills the same feed group. Um, so yeah, what I think I'm going to do is, I think I said that, the field that was sugar beets, we're going to plant as corn, so this field in front of us, that's going to give us a lot of corn. The two fields that were carrots, I think I'm going to plant as corn as well, and we'll plant the, um, the field that was corn as sugar beets. So I think that should give us... We've got a lot of sugar beets anyway, but I think that should work from a food point of view. Um, if I just check... Yeah. Because the one with the lowest on was... The, the maize and wheat group, yes, I could buy beet pot, but I don't really want to because we're feeding them a lot of beets anyway. Because I think if we plant maize in the biggest field plus the two smallest fields, um, we've got a huge excess of carrots anyway, so then we'll do beets in the field that had corn in. Maybe I did corn in that field. Maybe I did two big fields of corn and the two smaller fields of sugar beet. Actually, that might be the better option. Yeah. Basically, we've got two years worth of beets at what we had anyway. Oh, I don't know. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the corn field as beets, the beet field as corn, and then the two carrot fields as corn. Yeah, because we've got the wheat as well. That works. And that works. So beet pellets going in to the feed. Yes, I did try and put feed into the door for delivering the animals. I'm very tired today. Um, very mentally tired. It was last week was a very tiring week. It's Sunday afternoon. Uh, last week was mentally very tiring. Yeah. I went to the wrong place. Yeah, it happens. No, no one was harmed in the undelivering of food. So, yeah. Sugar beets done. We're going to grab some corn. Um, get that delivered. I need to go buy some more brewer's grain. What well, I think I need to get a bigger trailer at this point. Um, at least for buying the brewer's grain. Because that doesn't really matter doing it. 12,000 litres at a time, to be honest. Maybe I don't need to. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to have a look at a tractor that I want to buy later. Um, I'm not sure if it's the one I demoed or not. Um, same brand. Similar size. But I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. So, um, But I think it's going to be a nicer complement to the Fiat. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, it can obviously do the jobs where it doesn't need to be three-point mounted because it's a nice, it's decent horsepower. Anything that's not on the three-point, it works fine with. So the cedar, the plow, 
that's good. Um, it's only really where we've got things on the three point that it struggles, but also it'll just be nice having a second tractor so we can double up on some of the jobs. Um, you know, we've got a bunch of fields that need plowing and planting, so yeah, if we can have one tractor plowing and another planting at the same time, that'll be good. Or maybe even leasing a second plow so that we can get some of that plowing done quicker because I am skipping through a lot of the time that normally you might do those jobs so that we can see the results. Because that's really what we're all here for, isn't it? To see how we get on in coming to the, finding the results of the profitability of year two. So while we're out, I'm gonna get some fuel for the fit um, because we only need to put fuel in once every year. I know. It's a great, it's a very efficient tractor. Um, there's no point having somewhere to buy fuel on the farm. We may as well just once a year go to the local dealer, top the tank off, and we're good. It's, uh, yeah, it's amazing how efficient this old tractor is for fuel usage. Uh, it must have an incredibly large tank. Anyway, let's deliver the brewer's grain and. Um, think then I'm just going to be skipping some time again um, we do have the one sale which is about to have pigs um, and then we will be uh, we're going to take the manure to the BJ once that sale has had its piglets that was one of the last of the old ones that we kept that's going off to the butchers as well so yeah there's a little bit more meat to process still um, and then we've got the 14 that we kept from earlier last year um, that will be doing the the breeding this year. And then when we get to the end of this year, if we do another year, we'll work out how many we're going to keep um, and repeat the process. And it'll probably be even more with, with how I'm adjusting again. Um, and that's why I want to grow some sugar beet because if we don't grow any then we'll probably end up short and that wouldn't be great so yeah I don't know if we'll do another year on here um we'll, I'll, I'll as always I will evaluate as we get towards the end of the year it, it's a really fun little experiment actually so might keep going uh, might keep going might switch to uh to something else we'll see um it's, it's a it's quite an interesting way of playing the game so yeah i'm i'm having a lot of fun with it um it's very different obviously to how quite often i would play things so yeah it's good um, i might keep going just to see just how much more profitable as, as things adjust and expand it, it, it is you know each year has been a learning exercise in what we need to do so we're into february now um the price has actually dropped a little bit but it's still really good um so that's okay i'm not too worried um still more than we were expecting you can see we're looking at making over 200 grand from selling the pork um, which is nuts. Well, not, not nuts, it's pork. Well, maybe we're going to sell the pork nuts as well. I don't know. Um, but we now have um, one sow to sell on. And I didn't catch then how many piglets she had, but um, I have not added, but I'm going to add. Bear with me one second. Um, this little perfect for this job, three point picaria. Um, it seems to have some issues um, so we're just going to lease it because I don't want to keep this on the farm with it rocking and rolling its way through life um, but 100 quid to move the pig is a perfect amount of money for this little job um, yeah it wasn't worth leasing an actual animal trailer to do the job when uh, this will do just fine to move our one sow down to the butchers and then we can get the pork loaded up and get it sold uh, so can i quickly catch no because it doesn't show numbers but we had a mix of both which is cool um 
obviously, well, maybe not obviously, the plan will be that. Actually, we might keep them from the second litter. We will want to hold back some piglets at some point for future breeding stock. Um, but I don't actually want them to become inseminated until we want them to be having pigs. That's so, yeah. Now, what I didn't realize is the butcher has opening hours, so that's a thing. Um, so although I enabled it, it doesn't start processing and I can't take the meat out. I'm just going to return that thing because it's kind of unstable. Um, but yeah, so the trailer's here already waiting. And thank you, Universal Auto Load. We'll see in a moment. That comes in handy. Uh, but yeah, um, I didn't realize the butcher had opening hours because we can't do anything until 7 a.m. So... We're just going to speed up time for a bit. Um, I think the price might drop a little bit during that period, which is a bit frustrating. But hey, we're making a ton of cash. So is it really frustrating compared to you know, way back when we sold our first piglets for 13 grand? Um, that was before we added in... Uh, that was with that within Hearts Animal System, I think. So, so far, in this, we've made 13 grand selling piglets. Um, we're now looking at making 200 plus thousand in our second year, which is pretty crazy. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Um, obviously, we've had a lot of setup costs, you know, with buying the butchery and pellet production more recently and that kind of thing so yeah there's been some costs but there's about to be some income I'm not gonna say profit we'll, we'll save that to, towards the end when we look at the finances but there's going to be some income which is good um so let's get ourselves down to the restaurant to uh to deliver the pork obviously going to be some rather fine dining going on this month at the restaurant here yeah I, I probably uh, what I might do for next time is get like a, a, a three point carrier thingy for transporting the meat because there's obviously not that many pallets uh, although next year we'll have twice as much so maybe we will use the trailer then yeah, so we will have a lot more, hopefully, for future deliveries. So maybe we won't want to do that. Anyway, let's try and get into the restaurant here. It's a bit snug with this big trailer, so maybe a smaller trailer would be better anyway for deliveries or some sort of pickup truck or something. Um, so I'm going to faff about a lot at this sell point because I didn't realise it seems like there's a limit to how much the restaurant will take. I don't know if it's a production or not. Um, or if I was just being a bit slow, but I could not get it to take any more than it has. Um, yeah, that was a bit annoying. So, particularly with the dolly trailer. So yeah, another trailer. Maybe um, at least you know some sort of car trailer would be more useful for delivery of the meat. Pickup truck might be the solution for this. Um, yeah, we're, we're clearly significantly better off after this. Um, and yeah, as the downside is, this is going to be a, a once a year thing with how the pricing works because the price is only good and you're really good at this point in the year. So I'm not going to take the hit of selling it late in the year. So um, we're going to head over to the farm shop with the rest of the pork. Um, do a bit of a clocks and see if we can sell it through the farm shop and get a bit, get the rest of the cash. So that's a loop around the block by the looks of it. Shouldn't be too tricky. Um, once we've done this and sold so there's a that, that little bit of processing still once we've sold that last bit we're going to go through the finances from, i think september 
through to end of February, so like five months. Obviously, I've gone the wrong way. Um, most of that is has just been waiting our way through winter, getting the kit we need to harvest, and like building the pellet production. Um, obviously, I've been buying molasses to keep the pellet production running. Um, yeah, so that that kind of thing, but. Thankfully, because we've kept more pigs, the BGA has been producing enough, more than enough income. Every, wow, that's a small shop. Uh, more than enough income every month to to cover those sorts of running costs. So yeah, we're doing good. Um, we're certainly going in the correct direction financially, um, because at the moment we are. Two hundred and six thousand pounds for the pork for the year. That is our year's worth. Obviously, we we keep it frozen in the butchers until the price peaks. Um, yeah. So and I'm just going to pay the loan off. No point in us keeping the loan when we've got the cash in the bank. Um, and this is the tractor that I'm looking at. The uh, the John Deere six one seventy. M. And I say I can't remember if this is the one that we had the demo of, but I think it was. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to have a look at. Hoping I can get one that's sort of hundred and um, hundred ninety-ish horsepower, because that's what we need for the um, plow. Uh, so the pork is all processed we're heading back to although the restaurant has the best price i'm worried that they're not going to want to take any more so we're just going to head straight back to the farm shop with this partial pallet of a very small amount of pork i'm just going to stick it on the front of the front loader and um, i'm not going to worry about putting it on the trailer i know it's very good for safety and you know food hygiene and all that just loading up your pallet of frozen pork on the uh the the forks and driving it through town i mean how else do you deliver particularly pork that's so valuable you know 20 odd pounds a kilo seeing it delivered on the front of a tractor would you pay that much oh well um it certainly changed the course of things because yeah we're gonna have to buy the tractor that we want um straight out which is good there's not really anything else that we need so um i think at the end of this year with you know we've we've got twice as many pigs we're looking at probably producing twice as much pork twice as much income we could easily look at expanding the amount of land that we are farming to increase significantly the amount of food that we produce and therefore we can just keep growing um yeah um, we'll uh, deliver this and then we'll have a look at how the finances have taken a significant turn for the better uh, before we do that i'm going to say thank you to the patrons on the youtube channel i just appreciate you guys supporting the channel and also if you're interested in picking up a copy of fs25 don't forget to use partner code disturbed so yeah 212,258 pounds for selling the pork so let's have a look at the finances so i've kept all of the other points that we've done and the uh, the one for the end of this month is at the very end and then we've got the changes so um the the the, the 17 pounds on vehicles was for the pallet forks um we leased some stuff uh, i think that was animal traders i can't remember what else um maintenance I think is the it's just the running cost of building maintenance it's up now up at like 800 pounds a month 900 pounds a month is what it is we didn't buy any seed or for miscellaneous is things like production costs and I think the uh, the molasses might be going in there as well not certain but anyway um, the building cost was the 30 odd grand for the pallet production um the water bill it is the water bill i mean it's not horrendous it's not as bad as some of them have been so oh you know, it's, it's 
just just about thirteen hundred pounds a month. I think we're paying. I, it's low enough that I'm not bothered about switching to getting the water ourselves, um, and then the loan interest. Um, and we obviously had the loan for about ten months because it was two hundred eighty-two per month, and that's paid off now. So we're not going to have that anymore. Um, we didn't sell any animals we made about um 14 grand from the bga obviously the big thing the two hundred twelve thousand pounds from selling the pork and also we had the 40 grand from selling the canola now that won't isn't going to be a regular thing that was just a one-off because we changed how we were doing the feeding i'm not planning to do cash crops um, so again assuming my numbers are roughly right Again, not doing this super accurately. We spent in over the five months about 50 grand in cash. Just looking at the numbers, that looks vaguely right. Um, cash in the bank's gone up a lot, 135,000 pounds. Land value's not changed. Animal value gone up a little bit. That's just going up and down based on the animals we have. Um, equipment value has gone down. And I had a quick look at this actually because it was quite a big drop. Um, and I had a look just at some of the individual items because I, I, I had these up on the calculator on my phone and I was able to actually scroll back through the history far enough to uh, to see the changes. And just, I think the, the Fiat had dropped in by four grand in value in the time between the two times that I did this. The root crop harvest had dropped by three grand in value. So yeah, these, these numbers are real and they're big, you know, it's like 15 grand in value on the equipment that's just sat there. Um, building value went up by 12 grand. I mean, a big chunk of that is the new building that we built. Um, loan's gone away. That's good. But we don't have any meat stored now. So that's less good. Um, so overall, we've actually now, with uh, the money that's gone in and money going out and stuff, um, we are plus 131,000 pounds. And that means that from a one and a half million pound uh, of initial investment, we are only 11 grand short. If we sold everything, um, we'd have 1.489 million pounds. So I think we're doing really well. You know, we're end of year, well, we're not really end of year two, but we've sold up everything from the second year and we're nearly profitable, you know. Um, I'm really pleased actually and yeah obviously the big thing is the butcher mod that is making this incredibly profitable I think next year you know if you think we, we had six sales last year we've got 14 now so even if we double it we're probably looking at four you know four twenty five we've got a few more so maybe four thirty four forty 140,000 pounds income. Um, so we're going to be, you know, maybe knocking on not far off half a million pounds worth of profit. Apart from the fact that I'm going to spend some of this money and we'll lose money on other things. Um, but we're certainly going to be profitable. And that's not bad, is it? So, because making money out of pigs is really hard in this game. So, yeah. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button any comments questions suggestions thoughts stick them below and uh, i'll see you next time